Hey guys, May Flo, I'm here with the Scan and Cut DX, and I am going to make a candy corn hair barrette accent. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is go into pattern, and right in here, and then I'm going to scroll down. Oops, there it was. And I like this one with the super angle, this really rounded corners. Push this button right here, and that's going to make it so that the width can be independently changed from the height. And then once I like the ratio, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm not really actually worrying about the exact size that this is. I just wanna see that it looks just about right. And then in the edit screen here, I can object edit, and that's where I can do things like sizing, or whatever else it is that I need to do. Now, this is still on because I had it already set, so I'm gonna wanna take that off so that now when I resize, and actually, I think I wanna make it smaller, not bigger, because I think three, let's see, I'm just trying to think here, measure in my head, about three inches high, or three inches wide is probably perfect. So I'm gonna say okay, and then right here, I can change so that there's three of them. So you'll notice if you've had the scan and cut too, there is a similar kind of process here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one, two, three. I'm gonna spread them out because I'm going to have three different colors of felt. So once this is good to go, we're gonna say okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to cut, yes. And you notice that the pressure is auto. Half cut is off. So it's going to automatically gauge what I'm going to cut. So I'm gonna go grab my felt here. So here is my mat. You'll notice just, just a little bit different. Everything's a little bit different with the DX versus the previous scan and cut. You'll see more of that in my videos. So this one is a super stiff white felt and I'm going to be using that as the base. And then here's my orange and my yellow, and this has iron-on material on the back because I want to be able to iron it on in place. And let's see, okay, so it's a little wide, so I'll just trim this down just a little bit. But these are these both ironed on into place so nicely that I just figured I'd leave them on here. And just press these firmly into place. Now these felts are all the same thickness. If you have different thickness of materials, you'll want to cut them separately. Okay, and let me get my machine back up here show you how easy this is going to be. So we're going to pull this back on up and insert our mat right there and click the button. Okay. And I know, I know because of how I've got this that these will cut just fine, but I'm just going to scoot those over and scoot that down just a bit. And again, we're going to cut and start. And the blade will adjust itself. You can hear it doing its thing and cut out for us. I just wanna show you here how perfectly that cut out. Now, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm making a bunch of Halloween crafts, so I will save this and use it for future projects. But what I've got now, look, Got my three perfect little candy corns, and then I've got my scissors, so what I'm gonna do is just layer these on, and what I like to do for a project like this is just kind of conservatively guess how much I want, okay? Now, could I make custom templates with the Scan and Cut and it be really precise? Yes, I can. Um, right now, though, what I'm doing is just kind of guessing about where I want this. And then this yellow one, I'm just going to trim a little longer than what the orange is set at right now. And then just kind of play with the orange and yellow and see exactly how short I want it. We'll trim it down just a little bit. Remember, it's always easier to trim a little more than it is. You can't pull it back. You can't make it reappear, but you can always trim just a little bit more. And then it looks like I just need to trim a tiny bit more yellow. And then all I have to do is 
iron these on. And in my case, what I'm gonna do with this, you could do anything you want with this. You can make a planner clip, you can make hair ties, whatever you like. I do, in fact, have a hair barrette in mind that I'm just gonna hot glue this to, and I'll share some pictures of this project with you on the video, and you can find even more information on my blog post as well. I hope you've enjoyed this fun little fall craftiness here. Be sure to stay tuned for even more because I gotta tell you, now that I've got this DX out of its box, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun, crafty stuff. Now, something like this, can we do more? Can we stitch around it? Can we add other elements, put buttons on it, whatever else we want? Absolutely, guys, do as much or as little as you want with this. If you've got requests for future videos, be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'm always up for a good creative challenge. I'll see you next time.